We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie and this is Barry. Now, we are in the middle of a food marathon. If you haven't seen part one, go check it out. Otherwise, enjoy us, enjoy watching us eat. Yeah. Uh, some of us. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We're splitting the 24 hours up and each taking charge of a third. I'm going first. Mike and Ben are devoted to animal lovers. I didn't realise what is that they love dogs, not cats. Ben's going second. Evers has just had a mare of a 30 minutes. And we're going to screw Mike over in last. So I could get to my time and have half of the dishes to get. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, okay, it's quite nice. Whoa! From what's Oh, that's amazing. This is in my top three dishes all day. So far, everything from soups to fudge to great food and speakeasy, I think I've collected a few brownie points. That might be about to change. A pattern consisting of horizontal and vertical bands of various colours is called tartan. It's often made from wool and it's very Scottish. Given that Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland, I think we should do Tartan Hunters. High back Tartan chair. Tartan umbrella. Luckily, the sun is shining. <laughs> I reckon there's going to be a great one in here. Tartan calendar. This one is due. Tartan bow tie. Tartan waistcoat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Little Tartan chair. Boys, I'm taking you to the lookout. Just up these stairs. 11 hours in, 14 dishes in. I've done about 21 farts. And now we're doing about 700 steps because Ebers has taken us somewhere and it's entirely uphill all the way. It's not worth it. Oh, how wrong we were. It's a good looking city, isn't it? It's amazing. And from the lookout, you get pretty much 360 the sea over there. Ben's final location was The Lookout, recommended by one of our previous restaurants, Gardener's Cottage. The views were stunning, but what about the menu? So this is their egg yolk ravioli, cheese foam, crispy potatoes. It's been on the menu since they opened, and it's just one of those stand-up dishes that everyone loves. It's kind of not seasonal, even though the restaurant celebrates such amazing seasonality. This one sticks with them all year round, and it's always a favourite. I don't think I've ever had a cheese foam before. Should we go for it? Go for it. Yes, yes. Oh! Oh dear me. That is really nice. Awesome homemade pasta, rich egg yolk, and a velvety soft cream cheesy foam. I mean, it sounds like it tastes epic and delicious. Is this the time that you hand over the reins to Michael Hustlestone? Apparently so, and I'm very happy about that. I've got to do two less than they did combined. Safe to say, I was in trouble, so I did the logical thing, tapas. I'm not going to tell you anything about the dishes that I'm going to order until you've eaten them and you've told me about them. Oh, because they okay. are that special. So I don't want to give you any preconceptions. Now I'm excited. First up, Iberico pork that looked like steak. So I decided to keep the dish name to myself and see what the others thought. Cheers. 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 You know that I love my steak when it's barely touched the pan. <coughs> and that has barely touched the pan. But I would say the pan that it's touched was incredibly hot, so you still get that incredible sear and flavour on the outside. The red wine that I've expertly chosen is paired with all of these dishes from the exact same region that these pigs were reared from. Pigs? <laughs> that is Iberico pork. What? That is not a pig. That might have been a cow that ate a pig. <laughs> Next up, Iberico pork croquetas on a sauce made from apples caramelised in 30-year-old sherry. I was in Spain two weeks ago and the croquetas that I had weren't that good. Really? Yeah. This is Secreto Iberico. 
Yeah. It's got more fat throughout, so more marbly. Should have more fatty flavour. I don't know, because I haven't seen the kitchen, but I would say that it's also cooked over coal. Or uh, oh. because you get that incredible it's like the most delicious bacon I've ever tried. Yeah. Bacon steak! Bacon steak! That's my two favourite things put together in one. <laughs> We were privileged enough to meet the head chef who also explained that the pigs they farmed were free to forage in acres of acorn-rich forests, which lends itself to tender, nuttier cuts of meat. Amazing. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank Not you. just for your food, but for your time as well. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Place one, you've, how many dishes are we counting? Three. We, I need to make them up. Don't be a <laughs> about this. <laughs> In between getting up from the table at the tapas place and then leaving the tapas place, panic seems to have set in because Mike has somewhere that he wants to go. We have somewhere booked in to go after that, but that place closes soon. It looks like we might have to split up to get this done. I've had my moment of panic. We've delivered. We have, we have delivered. We have delivered. I still have one to go if I can make it. But yeah, you have promised us that. I, mm, yeah, yeah. Are you all right? Fine. No, he's not. <laughs> how's your time going? Just, I'm just wondering how your session's going. Mike. Mike's had a whole Mike, wine. Mike, how's your section going? Mike. Okay. This is how quickly a plan can fall apart during the marathon. I love it. Love it. So here we are in the West End part of Edinburgh, Les Gargoyles Blanc, and we've been tasked with enjoying a glass of wine recommended by our sommelier and signature dish, the snails, in butter with all sorts of Mediterranean herbs. The first thing that strikes you is the smell. I could yeah. smell the dish before it arrived at the table. <laughs> the garlic and the butter is so overpowering as a smell. It's amazing. Voted one of the best French restaurants in Edinburgh. It's French cuisine, but with, wherever they can, locally sourced ingredients, Scottish ingredients. Well, surely if he's not gonna eat the snails and we're not gonna eat the pizza, then that's two dishes that we can't count. So I'm pretty convinced we're gonna have to go down this line, otherwise we're not gonna fit 26.2 dishes in. Doesn't mean I can't guilt trip the hell out of Mike for it. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, I'm feeling all relaxed and like, that was really nice. I met back up with the guys at Dam 27, a restaurant and bar, which had only been open a week. I have got you. Blueberries. Yes! More Here. French. Shrimps, mussels, sea bass, mackerel, new potatoes, calamari. Chili. And then here, bone marrow mac and cheese. <laughs> Am I right? If you've got shellfish, you can take the head off, the very best bit. Is the head juice. That's the best bit. The head juice. He loves the head juice. Cheers on toast. Hello. I don't know how to describe that. That is delicious. That is scorching. Get your head juice off me. <laughs> Man, it's really good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for his cat cafe non-recommendation, Jay found a suggestion for pizza at Siverino Slice. Exactly what we needed, 21 dishes down. And with that in mind, he predictably ordered this. Oh, what are we gonna do? Cheers. Oh. I made a peanut butter pizza. <laughs> They're pretty damn good. This messes with my head because this shouldn't be on a pizza. Yeah, I know. And yet, it's really quite good. Yeah. Oh, and he wasn't done there either. Good man. It's so big. It's so bouncy. There aren't enough pizza desserts in the world for my liking. On any normal day, I would want to demolish that. Um, First 12 hours, went swimmingly. There wasn't even a wall in sight. And then before you know it, you hit it. As the early hours of the morning and the volume of what we'd eaten took its toll, we decided to get some rest, ready to go again. 
We've got up early the following morning because one of the best bits of advice when traveling to a new city that I could ever give is get up early enough for the opening of a bakery so that you can try the freshest pastries you've ever tried and it will blow your mind. <laughs> See, I win the marathon. It's not a cat though, is it? <laughs> so much better than a cat. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I'm so glad to be eating again. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Cheers. That great pastry with lots yeah. of buttery layers. The homemade ketchup also just takes it to another level. So it's not often you have lamb sausage anyway. A bit like the haggis we had yesterday. It's yeah. like so full of flavor because it's had time to age. When does the lamb become a mutton? Two years. Two Young years. lambs are smaller, more tender mutton meat. Yeah, there's no over thing. two years. What's a sheep then? looks as good as it's made. We've come outside to eat this because natural light and also we're tight to tight. Fresh cinnamon bun with an apricot and raspberry glaze. Oh wow. Let's eat this. Oh it is still warm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man that that glaze is needed. It's necessary. That's almost like that kind of um, Danish style. It's like one I had in Iceland where the middle is, is barely cooked. You've kind of got a doughy middle but then a crispy outside. What is the other spice in there? Is it cardamom? Yeah. He got it right first time. I did it! Well done, it's never well done, happened James. on a video. <laughs> I did it! We're all improving as humans. Right. Two more stops. Two more? Point one of our point two, Fortitude Coffee, one of the highest recommendations of coffee places we received. We've been told to try the filter coffee. At the end of the day, coffee tastes like coffee. But in my opinion, if you want a good coffee, you go to a good coffee shop that's been recommended and ask for a filter coffee and have it black. It has that dried fruit element to it. We've got one place left and we've got not seven minutes great much time. <laughs> It was go time. I needed to go through your comments and find a final place that was open and close enough to hit our 24 hour time limit. Buns. Tasty buns, the highest recommended bakery on our list. About 47,000 people said to come here, give or take a thousand. And we've been specifically told to try a cruffin, a cross between a croissant and a muffin. I think they're out of cruffins. Yeah. Don't tell me we have to count them to mark the cupcake now. We'll have to pick something else. else. What is the best thing here that you would recommend that we finish our whole marathon on? Everybody really From likes our... the scones. So yeah. we've got um, raspberry and hazelnut or goat's cheese pizza and cabbage. Oh, a savoury scone. Can we have you one peach? Peach one yeah. yeah. We are. Well, we got away with it, didn't we? We got away with that. Start savouring. Oh, okay, fine. No, no, you can do what you do. No, 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 no. I'm just correcting you. Cheers. <laughs> Here's Cheers. two. Ghost cheese. 26.2. Tarragon. And the tarragon in that is really good. I don't think I've ever had a tarragon scone. Oh, wow. That raspberry jam is punchy. We've done it. We did it. We did 26.2 of Edinburgh's top dishes in 24 hours, and we got some sleep. If that's not a major improvement on these marathons, <laughs> I don't know what is. Edinburgh really surprised me because it had a lot more independent, passionately run restaurants than I ever imagined. I think my favourite was Tapa and Three Ways with Pork. I think the, the Brock and Bowl of Porridge, which is stupidly simple, but done at a level that just takes it above and beyond. Sometimes you order something in a restaurant or a place and it turns up and you eat it and you go, that's nice and delicious. But by thinking about how, what can I learn from this? Could I ask a question or could I delve into the history or how it's prepared or something like that and learn something that I could pick up from or copy and do at home? And you thought you were just watching a video of three chubby lads waddling their way around a city. Surprise! Edinburgh was an amazing city. We absolutely massively recommend that you visit. Also, don't forget, some of the restaurants are a part of the club. And if you go to Edinburgh and you go into these restaurants as part of the club, they are going to look after you as a member. Now, seeing as you couldn't make it to the, to the marathon because of your dicky tummy, why don't you <laughs> yeah. give us a dad joke of the <laughs> week oh, and redeem yourself? On me with Come you on, here. you can do okay. it, you can do it. Okay. 
So why is it that women can go to the toilet in pairs, but when I do it in a greengrocer's, I get told to leave? <laughs> the good? Is that right? It took me a minute, but yeah, it was a good one. Yeah! It was smart. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. No.